Hi everyone! Welcome to Rain Francis Art for Kids. My name is Rain. In this series, Alphabet Soup, we choose a letter from the alphabet and we draw food that starts with that letter. So let's draw! Today's letter is the letter I. I stands for ice cream. So today I'm going to show you how to draw this cute little ice cream cone. Let's begin! These are the supplies that you'll need for today's lesson. You're going to need a piece of paper or a drawing pad. I have a dollar store drawing pad here. It's eight and a half by 11 inches. You're going to need a pencil, an eraser, and if you have a dollar store brush hanging around, an old paintbrush that you haven't used for paint, you can use this to wipe off eraser bits and dust from your page. You're also going to need color. Today we're using blue. I have a nice light blue. Pink. Yellow. Red. Brown. And black. You can either use a black coloring pencil or you can use what I'm using, a black fine tip marker. Okay, now if you don't have brown, this is for the ice cream cone. You could use yellow if you want, or a tan color or something like that. And for the ice cream, I'm using blue, pink, and yellow, but you can use any color you want. You can do uh, dark brown for chocolate. You can leave one layer white for vanilla. You can do one like a red color for strawberry, whatever you want. So I'm gonna clear my space here and we're gonna start. All right, first of all, we are going to write out ice cream. So ice cream is two words. We're gonna do a capital I, C, E, that's ice, and the second word is cream, so it's a capital C, R, E, a and M. Ice cream. <laughs> okay, let's begin. And I just want to let you know, uh, you might hear some banging or some drilling because this summer, which is the summer of 22, as I am videotaping this, one of my neighbors is building a cottage on his land. So it's going to be loud the whole summer and I can't avoid it. So I don't, I didn't want to stop making videos. So we're just going to have to put up with that for this summer. So I wanted to warn you about that. <laughs> so we're going to start with the cone. Now I'm going to pretty much do, um, draw my ice cream cone the entire size of my page. So about halfway down my page, I'm going to start with the cone and I'm going to do an upside down triangle. So let's do an upside down triangle, a very thin one. There, just like that. And for the triangle, the cone has like a crisscross pattern. So I want you to do lines like this across the entire cone. We're drawing a sugar cone today. Sugar cones are my favorite ice cream cones. Those are the dark brown ones. All right. So then I want you to do a crisscross pattern. So you're going to do the same thing, but on the other side in the other direction. And you can make these as big or as small as you want. See, that makes a nice crisscross pattern. There. 
there we go. I'll just put an extra line there. So that's our, our sugar cone. Now we're gonna draw our ice cream and I'm gonna put three scoops on my ice cream cone. <laughs> and we're just gonna do a little circle like this. Another one on top, a smaller one. And then another one on top, just another small one, just like that. And I'm gonna put a cherry on mine. So I'm gonna put just on the side here, a little round cherry like this. And I want you to draw a little circular shape just like that. And just while we're at it, I'm gonna put a face on the bottom scoop here. So if you follow my if you have followed my videos, you know that I like oval eyes. They're kind of egg-shaped. And then another little oval inside. Just like that. And I'm going to give our ice cream cone a nice big smile. And you know what? We're going to give her some teeth because she's a lady. <laughs> there we go. So our ice cream cone is all drawn out. Let's start to add some color. I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to move down. So I'm going to start with my cherry. Now I want you to take a red coloring pencil if you've never seen one of these things before, it's called a pencil extender, I'll show you. When your coloring pencil gets really short, it's really cool to have one of these pencil extenders. You just stick it in, and then you tighten it, and you see, you can hold it as if it were a long pencil. And it just makes it more comfortable that way to hold. So go ahead and color in your cherry the color red. And don't press too hard. And I want you to turn your pencil once in a while so you don't wear it down all on one side. And the reason I say don't press hard is because you don't want to break your, your tip of your pencil. Okay. Now remember we drew a little circle, circular thing in the middle here? On the outside, on this side of that circle, I want you to add a second layer of red so that the outside of the cherry is darker than the inside part. And again, don't press too hard. Just take your time and put a second layer of red around that circular shape that we had. That's just going to give a little bit of interest to that cherry so that it's not just one big red blob. And what you can do is, watch what I'm doing. I'm not going to color in that whole circle. I'm just going to go around the edge a little bit. Just like that. Okay. Oh, they're really banging out there. You can see the difference between one layer and two layers. All right. Now I'm going to take my pink color and I'm going to color in the top scoop of ice cream pink. And the way I color is I color very lightly and I do little circular motions. If I'm doing large areas, I'll do large circular motions. Because if you start coloring with straight lines, sometimes you'll see the straight lines and maybe you don't want to see them. In this case here, it's okay to see straight lines, but there's no straight lines in ice cream, right? <laughs> oh, I wish they weren't banging like that outside. But that's life, right? We can't control what other people do. <laughs> just have to go along with it. Now 
don't forget to turn your pencil once in a while so you don't wear it down and press very, very lightly. I think my pink color is, hmm. I was thinking of making it, thinking of strawberry ice cream. I really like strawberries. I'm gonna go ahead and put a second layer of color on my ice cream scoop here. My scoop of strawberry ice cream. Oh, it could be cherry ice cream too. That's really good. I love ice cream in the summer. My teeth don't like it though. <laughs> my teeth are very sensitive and every time I have ice cream, oh, it hurts my teeth. So I have to let it warm up a little bit before I eat it. Okay. So my top scoop is done. I'm going to take, let's see, I'm going to take my yellow and I'm going to do the middle scoop all in yellow. And see how sharp my pencil is? I'm going to press down very lightly and turn my pencil once in a while. I have a little dust on my page. You see how I'm holding my pencil? I'm not holding it like this. I'm kind of holding it on the side to do my little round circular coloring because that kind of forces me not to press too hard. You should try it and see. Just hold it like, put your fingers like this and slip it in like this. Get comfortable and just hold it on the side. And you'll see it does force you to really press down lightly because you can't, you could press down, but it gives you that, you know, that practice to press lightly because really when you're applying color, when you're adding color, it's all about layers. So this is a yellow color. What kind of ice cream is yellow? Maybe lemon ice cream? Oh, French vanilla ice cream has a little yellow in it. I like French vanilla. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go and put in a second layer of yellow. Just to make that yellow more vibrant. If you just want to do one layer, that's fine. If you want to do three layers, that's fine. I just want you to have fun and I want you to learn art technique so that you can create some beautiful, beautiful works of art. And this is fun too. I love to color. And if you know me, you know I love food. <laughs> and I love to talk about food. So this alphabet soup series is perfect for me. I get to think about food, I get to draw food, and I get to talk about food. <laughs> and I get to show you some pictures of the food that I've made in, in my life. You know what I'm going to do, my friends? I'm going to go ahead and put a third layer. I want to see how, what the difference is. And I'm turning my pencil once in a while. There is quite a difference here. If I look at this side of my scoop of ice cream compared to this side, I think this side is more vibrant, more yellow. So three layers is really good for the yellow. I don't think I need to do three layers for the other colors though. OK, 
Okay, so my second scoop is done. I'm going to do my third scoop or the bottom scoop in blue. And I'm going to be very careful not to get any blue in her eyes, okay? So I want you to do the same thing. I want you to color very lightly. Turn your pencil once in a while and be really careful not to get any of that blue into her eyes. Our Miss Ice Cream Cone here. Actually, this blue reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to live in a city called Montreal. It was a big city. I'm just going to wipe off some of those little bits. Yeah, it was a big city and I don't live in a city anymore. I live in a very, very quiet mountain area in the woods, which I love. I'm not a city gal anymore. I'm a country gal. <laughs> and um, when I lived in Montreal, about three blocks from my home when I was a kid, there was an ice cream shop called Svensson's. And they had such good ice cream. We used to go there every Sunday night after dinner. We would walk over there and we would have ice cream. And I would always choose bubblegum ice cream. <laughs> Be careful not to get any blue in her eyes. You can get blue in her mouth. That's okay. We're going to outline these with the black after. I just don't want you to get any blue into her eyes. So yeah, when I was a kid, I used to always order bubblegum ice cream. And these colors remind me of that bubblegum ice cream. It didn't have any real bubblegum in it. That would be gross, right? If you're eating ice cream and all of a sudden you're chewing gum at the same time. <laughs> no, I don't think so. But it tasted like bubblegum and I used to love it. And then when I got older, I started liking more, um, I don't know, more chocolatey stuff and vanilla stuff and caramel stuff, chocolate chip ice cream and chocolate fudge swirl and Rocky Road. Rocky Road is so good. Rocky Road has marshmallows in it. Okay, I've applied one layer, and I'm going to go ahead and apply a second layer. Again, pressing lightly, turning my pencil once in a while, and trying to avoid getting blue into her eyes. One of my favorite ice creams now is vanilla ice cream with caramel swirls in it. I love caramel. What's your favorite ice cream? Are you a chocolate fan? Are you a vanilla fan? Do you like fruity ice cream? I like frozen yogurt too. Frozen yogurt is yummy and so is, um, what's that stuff called? I think in French it's called sorbet. But in English, we call it sherbet, I think. You know, usually it's orange or yellow or lime. Really good stuff in the summer. Keep you cool. Okay, I've applied my second layer of blue. I'm just going to wipe that off. Now I'm going to take my brown color and I'm going to put in just one layer, I think just one layer of brown into the cone. I'll decide after if I want to put a second layer, but I want this to be quite light. I don't want it to be a real dark brown. If any of you have dogs out there, and I know some of my friends have dogs, Dogs love ice cream. <laughs> Sometimes it's not good for them. <laughs> I 
I got a new dog recently too. I'm so happy. Well, I already had Jack. Here's a picture of Jack. You guys know Jack if you followed my, my videos. I, I try to always talk about Jack. He snores in the background. and <laughs> Well, I have a new dog and her name is Raven. Here's a picture of Raven. Isn't she beautiful? I got her at um, the SPCA, which is a dog shelter. And I just fell in love with her as soon as I saw her. Okay, I'm just wiping this off. I'm just going to keep one layer of brown, I think, on my ice cream cone. Now I'm going to take my black. I'm going to use a fine tip black marker, but you can use a black coloring pencil, whatever you like. And I'm going to basically outline everything. This is different. We don't usually do this, but I've decided I want to outline everything with black. So I'm going to start with the cherry. Everywhere we drew in pencil, I'm going to outline in black. All right, so you can go ahead and do the whole thing, even the crisscrosses. Outline everything in black. It's going to make it all stand out really nicely. Okay, just go ahead and take your time. You don't have to do this part. This part is optional. If you don't feel like outlining everything, you don't have to. I just feel like doing that today. I feel like outlining everything to make sure it all stands out. And like I said, take your time. And look, see, I went outside the line, but I don't care. This is really just for fun. When you get to her face, we're going to outline the eyes like we usually do. And the inside pupil. And I want you to color in that inside pupil, that little egg-shaped oval for her pupil, which I often call the eyeball, but that's not the right word for it. <laughs> okay. Same thing on the other eye. Just outline and color in that pupil black. And since she's a lady, I'm gonna give her some eyelashes. <laughs> there we go, maybe some eyebrows too. A few little eyebrows on top. And maybe a few little eyebrows, eyelashes on the bottom too, because she's a pretty ice cream. <laughs> so let's outline her smile. And her teeth. And I'm going to give her some cheeks. And this is how you give, you give a cartoon cheeks. You do a little circle on either side of the mouth, and that gives her some cheeks. Okay, so now let's do the cone. Whoops, see, I went outside the line, but that's okay. Don't mind. All right, and I'm gonna fill in all of those crisscrosses. I'm just gonna go and Outline all of them. Wherever I had pencil, I'm putting black over it, just so it stands out more. I bought an ice cream maker, I think, what, 12 years ago? And I used to make a lot, a lot, a lot of ice cream. It's so easy to make ice cream. It's really just milk, cream, and any kind of flavoring you want to put in it, really. I can show you pictures. I've got 
This one is a country peach ice cream. It's got a nice peach flavor to it. It was so good. This one, though, was my favorite. It was a chocolate fudge swirl ice cream. And as you can see, I served it with chocolate pieces. <laughs> I also made a coffee ice cream. That one was really good. I used decaffeinated coffee because I don't like the caffeine in it. But that was really, really yummy. And I also made a strawberry ice cream. So having an ice cream maker was a real treat. And I could make a lot of ice cream. But sometimes I make too much and I eat too much of it, so... You ever get those ice cream headaches? <laughs> if you eat ice cream too fast, they call it brain freeze. <laughs> you freeze up your brain. It hurts. Oh, it hurts. You got to take your time when you're eating ice cream or drinking a milkshake. I love milkshakes too. All right. So how are you guys doing? Did you finish outlining your whole ice cream cone? This was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this. And now I'm going to go and have some ice cream. <laughs> now, don't forget, my friends, I want you to always sign your work. I want you to take ownership of the beautiful creation that you made, and I hope that you had a lot of fun today. And I hope you enjoyed this lesson, my friends. And remember, to mom and dad, if you post your kids' art on Instagram, don't forget to tag me. The link is in the description below, and it's in the About section of my channel. So, my friends, we'll see you next time on Alphabet Soup. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.